Welcome back to our series, Living It Up. And now we're gonna deal with the subject of dating. We're calling it Dating 101. And we're gonna talk a lot about the basics of dating. Because man, there's a lot of different ways we could go when we talk about dating. And we've broken down into really two types of uh, wisdom that you're gonna get here. First of all, there's the dating principles. In other words, there's the things, the rules, that you can take to any dating relationship and make sure that you follow and make sure you apply those principles to any dating relationship. Now the second aspect of that is some of the practical things. Over the years, uh, over the things, that, all the times I've been talking to teenagers, giving some practical tips, some practical advice, some practical rules to have in your dating relationships. Well, let me also make this disclaimer at this moment, that if on that practical side, I say some things maybe that your parents say a little bit different or have a little different for you, always follow your parents' authority, for sure, 100%. But I don't think your parents will disagree with anything on the principal side of the rules that you should take to make sure that you're following uh, the right path because you want to be led down the right direction. And that leads to what is dating. You know, what you see on movies is not really what dating is. And what the world is doing is not really dating. Uh, what you see on social media a lot of times is not even a fair representation of dating. You know, I've said before, the most important relationship that you have as a teenager outside of making Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior of your life is who are your friends? Well, as you get older and as you become a young adult, then that turns into the most important thing outside of making Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior of your life is who you marry. Man, that can make you or break you. There's no doubt about it. I've seen it make some people and I've seen it break some people. And that becomes the most important decision. That's why we've always recommended and we always said the minimum age uh, for dating is 16. Why? Because I mean, what's a 14 year old gonna do go out? And plus, you know, you could just be hanging out with your friends doing things in church, serving the Lord, growing in God. So 16 is the minimum age that we always recommend for dating. Now, when we talk about dating, you know, people always sometimes feel this pressure to date. And we don't date just to date as teenagers. We don't just date anyone. As a matter of fact, that's the number one rule, the number one principle that I can give you, and that is we don't date unbelievers. Now I'm coming from a Christian perspective. So all the principles that I get are gleaned from the Word of God. And Amos 3.3 3 says, how can two walk together unless they agree? In other words, you can't tell me that you're going to make an extra step of dating someone if you don't see an agreement with their lifestyle or the way they're living or what they're saying or what they're doing. Also in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, it tells us very specifically not to be yoked together with unbelievers. I mean, what agreement is there between light and darkness? There is none. So when it comes to dating and when it comes to when you start to date, there's no reason to date an unbeliever. Now, sometimes teenagers tell me, or I've heard before, yeah, but he's really cute or she's beautiful or he's really, he makes me laugh or she makes me feel good and all these type things. But the reality is the number one thing in your life are not the things you see, but they're the things you can't see. For example, your number one most important thing is your relationship with God. So if in your dating you have your number one relationship with God here, and if your dating doesn't line up with that relationship with God, what's it gonna do? It's gonna pull you away from your relationship with God. That's why it's all got to line up. Because what the world does is the world tries to get you focused on things that don't matter. They try to get you focused on things that are nice, they do matter in a sense, but they, they're not the most important thing. For example, how someone looks, sure you wanna be attracted to someone. Do they make you laugh? Sure, that's great. And that's the great thing about dating. When you start to date, you can find out what you'd like and what you don't like. You know, we're all kinds of different personalities. We're all kinds of different people. We are all not the same. Some people are super organized. Some people are not. Some people are planners. They gotta know what's happening in six weeks. And then some people, they, you know, they fly by the seat of their pants. They're more spontaneous. 
Uh, some people love to laugh all the time. Some people are more serious. Some people like sci-fi. I mean, all they talk about Star Wars this and Star Wars that and what's going on on Disney Plus and all that stuff. And then other people, man, all they like is sports or all they like is this. So you got to find out what it is you like and what it is you don't like in people. And it's okay to go on dates and find out, you know what? I really like this about this person, but this over here really annoys me. Or, nope, that's not going to work. I've been on dates before where I thought, you know, we'll give this a shot, we'll give it a try, I went on a date, and then after the date was over, it's very polite, very nice, but you know, I knew that there wasn't, there wasn't a need for a second date because there wasn't anything there. So, you know, that's what part of dating is, is finding out what you like and what you don't like, which you're gonna hear me another principle say over and over, probably every single time, and that is dating is not marriage. You know, the world has made dating into sex. They've made dating into uh, acting like a married couple. But the reality is dating is not marriage. And we'll talk about some different practical things next time on Dating 101 by what I mean by that. Make sure and subscribe to our page. Make sure that you give a thumbs up to this video and you sign up for our notifications. That way you can know when a new video comes. And maybe you've got friends who are going through dating relationships. Be sure and share this video with them. And I just ask you this, that over the next few times that we get together, to listen with your ears open, your eyes open, and your heart open, and listen to what I say, and then take what I say, and observe it with your friends, with your classmates, with people around you, and see, because I'm telling you the truth. You've got to do dating the right way to make sure that you keep that connection that you have with your relationship with the Lord because you don't want anything to come in, mess that up, or get you off direction to doing what God wants you to do and where God wants you to take you.